Hello everybody, I'm Harry, this is Jade, and today we've got a lot of decorating to get on with. Um, we are going to be painting this wall, hopefully. Are we going to paint this wall today? Yeah, we're going to be just covering up the tester paint that we put on the wall. To so the we're painting it limerick, is the colour we've gone for. I've not got a feeling that's going to cover that, so we've got to kind of do a base. Got to paint over that in base. some white or something? Yeah, just white. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, I did say in the end of last week's video that we are going to be ugh, sorting out the master bedroom because we do have a bed on order and we it's coming <laughs> and we've got to get this bedroom done. So we're going to be taking these things off the wall all the way around the bedroom. Uh, we did take this one off already and it was stuck on rather than drilled on or nailed on, whatever. Um, we don't like these curtain rounds, they're horrendous, so they're coming off. Luckily they're only screws and we'll probably do the same for this up here. Um, and I'm going to try and stick a GoPro in the corner and hope that I'll be able to capture all the angles. I've also got like a head cam thing, which I might stick this GoPro on so you get like a, almost a POV. Uh, but we've got things like dowels like this to take out the wall. Um, looks like that could be a bit of mould or something. We're just going to go around the house basically and see what is what. Um, but we have got things like cracks in the wall which we'll have to get these looked at. There's a dent in the ceiling where obviously someone's been in the loft and nearly put their foot through the bloody ceiling. Uh, this handle's falling off. In there's uh, like a boiler, which I'm not sure if I showed you the other week, or last week. Um, yeah, so basically, let's actually get a bit of light in here. Can we do that? I can't stand blinds. I can't stand blinds like this anyway, so they're going. Um, right, yeah, let's crack on. But yeah, so as you can see, we've taken off all of that round the room, all down here on the floor. Uh, we've just got this bit left, so this bit by the window, here and here, the bit behind the door is gone as well. Um, and then we're going to start sanding and, and sorting out some of the cracks and shit. So yeah, that's next on the agenda. While well, Jade is doing an absolute fabulous job of cleaning the toilet and the bathroom. It's disgusting. <laughs> They wanted an extra two hours to clean. What did they clean? <laughs> Obviously well, didn't clean Nothing. a lot. I mean, look, that's disgusting. Don't know how well that's coming up on camera, but that is all dirty in there. We need a new toilet seat, by the way, look. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look, look at the build-up behind there that's coming up. They have not cleaned it, it's disgusting. I did notice, I know this isn't particularly disgusting, but that, look how dirty that is. What, the walls? The chrome switch. Yeah. I mean, they could have just given that a little wipe up. I mean, a little wipe up. We'll end up having fingerprints on it. Yeah, oh yeah, but. It's easy, you buff it disgusting. up when you clean the house. It's one of them things. <laughs> anyway, while Joe's doing that, I'm taking this one off the wall. which is definitely far too fine. You're supposed to go over it with course first and then you're supposed to sand it down afterwards with fine. Um, but it is what it is, it's fine. <laughs> um, but I've got in contact with my dad and he has got a sanding machine so I really can't be bothered to go over the, all of this by hand. So I do have to just go back home and grab that at some point today, which I will be doing. Uh, but I think we're gonna tackle these things actually first as well. I wanna see uh, how easy these come off. They're only tiny little screws, so they should come off nice and easy. And then we'll get the step ladders and we will try and do these as well. 
uh, and then we might even be able to tackle these little things here. Um, they're just ever so slightly sticking out of the wall, um, but we want them out so we can polyfill over that. So we'll, yeah, we'll um, start here, do that, and we'll see what we can do with these. Good. Come on. Yeah. That's one. I've got my long nose pliers. I'm gonna see if I can just prise these. Oh, well, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Right, so I've just been home. I've got myself an extension lead. Uh, but anyway, we've got one of these. Um, it's a long rectangle. I'll show you when I take it out of the box. And we're just gonna give it a go, basically. I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Uh, never done this before. I don't do DIY, so I am a first timer doing this. We'll just have to see how it goes. I've got no idea what the outcome's gonna be. But let's give it a go, shall we? So as you may or may not have seen, I've absolutely mashed that one. I've tried to get these few out and they've come out quite nicely. I've still got them ones up there to do. Uh, but this is all actually very, very smooth. Um, there's still like little bits, it might need a little polyfill maybe, but that is very smooth, very, very smooth. Um, I'm gonna try and go down here. I mean, there's big bits like that, look. Size of that bit there. So I'm hoping it will just glide over this and take off all the crap. Um, and I don't know what to do with that just yet, but I was kind of hoping I'd be able to kind of glide over that and maybe smooth all this off a little bit. Uh, but we'll see, basically, we will see. Um, yeah, we're just gonna carry on. Okay, so as you would have seen, I've gone all the way along here. I've already done that bit. And then I've come all the way down here. There is a crack along this wall here. Um, and I was told if you sand that down, um, you can polyfiller it. It goes all the way up to here, like the whole way down. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can. It starts up here and it comes all the way down. All the way down to the floor. So I'm hoping if I sand that down, I might be able to polyfill it in between um, and maybe try and almost patch it. But again, I've got no idea what I'm doing. So I'm gonna give it a go. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Look, if we need to get professionals in, then we'll do that. But otherwise, we're gonna try and wing it, hope for the best and sort of see where we go after that. <laughs> so Jane is just gathering her shit to, uh, sorry, just while you're stuffing your face. <laughs> um, because she's gonna go to what shop? Uh, B&Q and then I think I've got like a Savers. Savers or Asda or something over there. No hand soap. Yeah, no hand soap, so we can't even wash our hands. That's just something we didn't think about. Uh, we have actually got some in the kitchen, but just none in the toilet upstairs. So Jake's popping out right now. Um, I'll see you in a bit, babe. Can we back in? Yeah, we'll do, drive careful. Right, so Jade's just gone out now. Uh, she's gonna go get some small rollers as well because we wanna paint this wall. Um, while she's gone, I'm gonna try to masking tape this light switch, although, I don't know, we might change it, but we don't know yet. But I'm gonna masking tape that up anyway, just so it doesn't get paint on that. And then these have got like little screws and stuff in them. There's one there, one there. And then there is another screw. If I just squeeze through here. Screw here and a screw here in the hallway. So we are gonna take these out and then probably 
start going around with the polyfiller. This is actually the small pot. We have a bigger pot somewhere laying around of polyfiller. Oh, I believe it's over there. Um, so we've got loads of polyfiller. We're gonna go around all the holes. One of the things I did notice as well, see Jade has painted this whole wall white, just kind of to cover it up, um, to cover up the color brown, pardon me, because we are obviously going to be painting this wall in green. So the white was basically just to cover up the brown so it didn't look so bad. Um, so I don't know if you can see, they're like, it's not paint, but it's like a lump in the wall. There's one there and there's one up here. And they're so annoying and little bits like these that are just, it bugs me, okay? It bugs me. Uh, we've taken the hand rails off of the wall, the curtain rail, sorry, off the, off the wall and up here. Uh, it's all gonna need polyfill. I mean, look at the state of that, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. But yes, we need to polyfill them ones. Uh, we have got some gloss paint actually. We are probably gonna do all the window seals and stuff and the, and the doors and the door frames and possibly the skirting. I'm not sure if this, does this get done in gloss? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but if it does, we're gonna do all of that again. Uh, we are gonna paint this white. We all, I already knew Jade wanted to do this bit in white. I'm just not sure what type of white. This is what we're using at the minute is actually called White Mist, uh, which was one of the tester things that we had, which I believe is this one, which we've done up here. White Mist was that one. So it actually doesn't really make much of a difference what white we use. It was just to cover up the brown, like I said. Um, but yeah, apart from that, we're gonna take these screws out the wall now uh, and then start polyfilling. See how that goes. So the next big, big step, <laughs> the next big step is to brush down all the holes to make sure there's no like shit in it really. <laughs> Great way of doing it. Um, and we found out these things that I was talking about on camera are actual little paint bubbles. So I might need to just sand them down. So, uh, that's here doing the painting, because I can't. <laughs> um, but he's gone all the way around the edges once. Uh, let me just show you. I'm treading on masking tape. Yeah, so he's gone all the way around the edges, all the way up to the window, and he's just started, he's got to here so far. Oh, I'm treading on more masking tape. He's got to here so far. Um, so he's doing his second coat. Looks good. I'll give you an update in a bit. So, the green wall is all done. Um, as you can see, there are some patches behind me, like over here as well, I shall show you. Uh, so this is what I've been using for polyfiller. It's completely smooth, um, but basically that's where there was a nail stuck in the wall. I pulled it out with a hammer and it obviously left a hole, but you fill it and it's perfectly smooth. So that's kind of what I've done all the way around. There's a few imperfections, like right up here was obviously where there was a curtain rail, um, but you can see by the state of the wall, it was pretty rough and wasn't looking too good. I think right up here, that's probably where they've just slapped on a bit of paint and it's gone into like solid lumps um, and dried like that. So I've kind of flattened it as best as I can. I mean, still, it is still raised and rough. Um, I might have to go over that again, maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's patches, as you can see, all around all of the walls, right over to here where there's little dents and things in the wall. Oh, sorry. Um, and then this is crack because if I go into the kitchen, which I shall show you. So there's this like chalkboard from the kitchen and it's very hollow, oh, very hollow, very uh, thin, sorry. And obviously it goes all the way through to the uh, lounge where we were just a minute ago. So that is basically where the radiator is literally here somewhere. Um, and then this is just, yeah, the hollow bit, which is why when we go around to the other side, back into the lounge, we will be seeing there's a crack. Where does it start? Uh, so the crack starts here. It goes all the way up. It kind of goes all the way over and comes down here somewhere. Can't actually see it at the moment, but there is another crack here. But this is where the, where the bulb is. Um, whereas if I just, just to prove it, this is solid brick. 
all of this solid brick. So, yeah, a little bit of a pain in the bum. There's a lot of places that need this polyfiller, but I've gone over it and it's all nice and smooth in so many different areas. Um, it's just basically just to make the, the wall not look like, I mean, look, you will get little bits like this. I don't know if you can see them, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. See, they're just like ever so slight indents and they're just a pain. They just look a little bit ugly when you're painting. Um, I don't know whether they, they before they used a roller or whatever, whether they used paintbrush, but look down here. I mean, all of this, look, state of this. It just looks grim. It just does not look good at all. So I've kind of, Try to sand even even little bits like this where it's it's kind of it's like dried paint almost where they've slapped it on and it's dried as a bubble and so i've sanded it down to and that is smooth to be fair that is very smooth um but yeah but the green's done green looks fabulous just got the other three walls to tackle now so i'm going to be completely honest um i have skipped a few days in the few clips that you've seen um, my dad, my sister and my mum have all come and helped us uh, do different things. So obviously, let me just show you this big green wall uh, was done by dad mainly. It looks fantastic. There was a couple of places we needed to patch. So there's a few little patch spots. Uh, but apart from that, it looks brilliant. Um, then we had my sister over who helped me to go around all the edges of all of this. What's this called? Skirting? Is it what's called skirting when it's at the top? Uh, skirting, clothing. Cause that's called skirting, right? I don't know. Anyway, she went around with a brush all the way around the edges, um, and I've just done a couple of rolls over this coat. Um, but it looks quite good. I mean, that's I think that's literally we did um, one like a base coat almost, and then we did um, yeah, sorry, even no, we just did a base coat and then touched around all the edges, like I just said. Um, and I've just come in and done another coat on that. So that's had two coats um, And it's obviously still looking very patchy, but we've done all around the door around the switch um, And this wall because it's got so many marks so many dents and everything um, This I forgot to tell you was covering this so this was a big radiator cover that was sitting over the radiator um, And basically it's ugly. It's broken at the bottom here for some reason. Mine's broken there. Shut up, you. Uh, yeah, it was broken at the bottom there. So, ugly. And really, really energy efficient. Uh, because <laughs> when the radiator was- Inefficient. Inefficient, that's what inefficient. I said. Inefficient, you said efficient. Inefficient. You said efficient. Whatever. Watch it back. When it comes on, um, it was all trapping all the heat under here, and the wood was get, just getting really hot. Um, so basically, it wasn't heating the room. So we've taken that off. It literally just lifted up. It was James just taking these blocks off. It was just sitting on some blocks that way up even. Um, just sitting on some blocks there, uh, which we've just moved across, taken out the wall just then. And as you can see behind here, um, it heavily needs plastering. Proper heavily needs plastering. And underneath the radiator, you can see there's a crack there. Uh, basically, we think there could have been an old doorway here, um, quite possibly. So they chucked a radiator in front of it. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, so yeah, basically, long story short, we need to get a plaster in to go over this entire wall. And obviously, as you've seen, there's some plastering to do upstairs in the main bedroom. So we're going to get somebody over to come and give us a price to plaster this entire wall. Um, right from here all the way down to that corner and do the bit upstairs in the bedroom So we're gonna get a price to find out how much that will be uh, We're also gonna get a combi boiler fitted because I'm not sure if I've shown you this Let me just go upstairs. So here we are. It might be a bit dark in here. So I warn you in advance uh, But basically this is our water heater our water tank or whatever you want to call it um, And basically it's supposed to be covered by this like insulation so that all the energy in the heat stays in there Obviously it's not. So we're gonna have to get a plumber out to come and have a look at this. There's also massive holes in the wall. Up there, up there. I mean, it's just, it's just horrible. <laughs> it just looks horrible. Whatever the people were doing, whoever lived here before us, honestly, it just, it's horrible. Um, I mean, all down here, I haven't actually pulled this up yet, but look at the state of this. I mean, there's a brick. 
So anyway, that needs replacing for a start. Um, and also this is our heater. So if we want hot water, we select that button until it goes on. We select this button if we want heating till it goes on. It's bloody freezing in here, so we've got the heating on. But we want to replace this with the higher thing. Let me just take you into the bedroom. Smart meter or something is called, is that what they're called? You know, the hive hubs? I don't actually know what they're called. My mum and dad have got one and I might be able to show you when we get home, possibly. But this is our boiler. Um, it's very old. <laughs> very, very old. Let me just turn my torch on, actually, let me show you. Ta-da, that made all the difference. Um, yeah, so this is our boiler. Very, very old. Um, <laughs> and it needs to go. We need to get a plumber in to have a look at that, take it away. And obviously, have a look at that. However, the first thing we need to do is get somebody in to come and plaster all of this. I don't know if they're going to plaster the entire wall, uh, sorry, the entire bedroom, or if they're just going to plaster these bits. I've got no idea. I assume, I assume they would have to plaster the entire room, but I don't really know. So, <laughs> so it could be really expensive. Um, but again, I've got absolutely no idea. Um, but we shall find that out. But let's get somebody in, uh, see what they've got to say. I'm not sure they're gonna wanna be recorded, but if I can get away with it, might be able to put it on a time lapse. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that is basically that. So let's close all of these.